Before the video starts, I want to let you know that we are giving away an RTX 3060 Ti, a fantastic graphics card. If you want a chance to win, watch the entire video and at the end, I'll have a button on screen and I'll remind you to enter into the giveaway and I'll tell you how to do that as well. I got something to show you. Check this out. This microphone arm is so big and so long. It sounds so bad. <laughs> I got something to show you. Check this out. This microphone arm can reach so far that I can do my main recordings with this if I wanted to. My previous microphone arm couldn't reach this far. This is insane. You're insane, Jarvis! So as you can see, this microphone arm is pretty versatile. There's a lot it can do. It's got a bunch of connections, so it'll fit pretty much any mic. It's got a counterweight in case you have a very light microphone, like the Wave 1 or the Wave 3. But you can obviously take it off if you have the Shure SM7B, because that's a pretty heavy microphone, and the same one that I have. It's got some great cable management, something that no other boom arm, as far as I know, no other boom arm has that. We've got the, what's this, a 6-inch extender, I believe? Cat. What are you doing? Stop it. Oh my gosh, you're pressing buttons everywhere. Get down. And then we've got the weight over here, which actually this is pretty hefty. This is pretty solid. Like if I had my ring on it, you can see it's, it's fully metal. It's pretty strong. It's got some padding on the inside, which is nice. And then you've got the actual desk clamp. One thing I did see on their live announcement on Elgato's YouTube channel is they have a pretty wide footprint here so that you don't have to worry about the small surface here where it could either damage your desk or it might not fit as well. So it's got a large footprint which is nice. The usual Elgato branding on their, their clamps here. And then if you want to you can obviously extend the whole thing with the extender right there. And then last but certainly not least the main attraction is the actual boom arm. So it's just plastic here, plastic seems like a premium plastic. It all seems plastic on the outside. I do feel that this is, this is plastic too, but the main arm on the inside here, that's metal. So is the, the mount over here. This is nice. I can use this for whatever I want. And it obviously says caution spring loaded. Uh, if I undo this, it might flip out. So just be aware of that before you open it. The Rode Wave mic arm is very versatile and can rotate 360 degrees, which is something unique because a lot of other microphone arms can't do that with the Shure SM7B. So the microphone that I have can't rotate 360 degrees on most other microphone boom arms. With this one, they've specifically designed it so that it can do that. And in their live release, that was one of their marketing points they had. In addition, it can take on pretty heavy microphones like the Shure SM7B. My previous microphone arm was the InnoGear microphone arm, which is about $60 on Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description if that's more on your budget. But I couldn't rotate my microphone 360 degrees because of the way that the XLR microphone connects through the XLR cable. With this microphone arm from Elgato, you can do that. During Elgato's live event last week, they didn't just release the Elgato Wave mic arm, they also released the Elgato Wave mic arm LP, or low profile. Essentially, you can have this underneath your monitor because a lot of people don't wanna have it going either over their monitor or from the side. It might get annoying for them. For me, I don't mind, this is amazing. It goes really high, so it doesn't get in the way of either my keyboard or anything like that. The low profile version, some people prefer that as well. And that one comes with the magnetic cable hiders. This one doesn't. It has rubber cable hiders and they're a little tough to move up and down when you're trying to 
hide the cable. But other than that, I don't really have any issues with it. And you're only gonna set it once, so there's no problem there. Now, if you have a light microphone like the Elgato Wave 1, you can use a weight to put on the microphone so that it doesn't fling up when you have your light microphone on it. Uh, this just makes it easier for the microphone to adjust and stay in one spot. In addition, you get these little adapters so that you can put on whatever microphone you have. It's very versatile. And you get this little tool so that you can adjust the springs on the microphone boom arm. All in all, I really do love Elgato's mic arm. Probably one of my favorites so far. It's extremely bulky and rather large, which might be an issue for some people, but I think it looks pretty dope. Also, if you want to get the Rode PSA-1, which is another boom arm, pretty popular. Same price, both at $100. You can do that too if you prefer that. But nice thing about this one is it actually has the cable management built in. You don't have to use cable ties on the boom arm. So if you want to get this one, great. Same price as the Rode PSA-1, which I like the Elgato one a bit better. But if you don't have a budget of 100 bucks for a microphone arm, I do have the older one behind me right over there. I've had it for about two years now. It's done me so well. It does everything the Elgato Wave mic arm does. Uh, it just doesn't have the little things that improve your user experience. But if that's what you want to sacrifice for your budget, that's totally fine. And that's what I've done in the past too. And uh, now I upgraded. So I'm super excited about that. I'll catch you next time. But until then, make something great. Remember there is a RTX 3060 Ti that we're giving away, this wonderful graphics card that I got at MSRP. I'm gonna show you how I did that, but at the same time, I'm gonna let you get a chance to win. So click on the video right up here, and it'll take you there, and I'll show you how to enter for a chance to win. There's lots of ways to enter, it's all free, so you don't have to worry about paying anything.